everyone in today's video I'm going to be kind of trying out a full coverage foundation routine I wasn't sure if this um, foundation combo was gonna work for me but I just wanted to try it out on camera just to see if it did and then a good recommendation for you guys if I end up liking it so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump in Alrighty, so I'm going to be trying out a kind of new foundation routine. I don't even know if this is going to work, but I'm going to hope it does. I'm going to take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And i seen this actually on um, uh, Instagram. I forgot who did it. If I can remember, I will list her name like right here. But she put this primer um, pretty much like right underneath her eyes very lightly you don't want to be too rough it's like wherever you have um larger pores so i'm just gonna put this i really want to try it underneath my eyes and then with my ring finger i'm going to take the primer that's left and clean up the edges of my eyeshadow because the primer since it has more of like that silicone feeling it will also help to um, erase any shadow so I'm only putting that on um, like literally on that I'm literally only putting that primer in the center right there because then I'm gonna go in with my hard candy pore defense primer which I love and I'm gonna put this on my forehead it is just so hydrating and it feels so good it really smooths away my pores but I'm gonna be trying out this full coverage foundation routine just to see if it works for me because as you guys can see I have this like breakout right here out of nowhere. Um, I'm gonna be taking my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the number eight, and I'm gonna also be mixing this with my EX1 foundation, which I love. So I'm gonna be um, taking a little bit of this product out. You do not need a lot of this product. I'm just gonna be putting it right here. I'm gonna be taking a pump of my EX1 foundation and I am in the shade F200 you guys can see I'm almost done I need to order another one one of my favorite foundations um so then I'm just gonna mix these two together right here on the back of my hand Ooh. I'm gonna try it out on this side of my face first I'm gonna use my eagle tools um blender I don't want to call it like a beauty blender because it's not but I did a video all on this product Total dupe for the Beauty Blender. I love it. This is all I've been using recently. Ooh, look how well this duo covered. Yeah. I love my EX1 foundation, but I, I need like... In order to cover up this breakout that I have here, I would probably need like four layers of that foundation. It never looks cakey no matter how many layers I put on, but if I could just mix it with a more full coverage foundation and get the coverage that I need without having to use so much of the EX1 foundation, I would rather do that. I have quite a bit foundation left on my hand, so a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I still have a little bit of um, discoloration very, very slightly peeking through. So just for my own mind's sake, I'm just going to go in with a little bit more foundation just in this area right here. And I'm going to really push it into the skin really, really lightly just to really help cover that up. And there, it's already covered. Awesome. Okay, then I'm gonna take the edge of this and just get right around my nose. That's why I love this blender because I could get right around my nose, my eyebrows, and it fits perfectly. Everything looks so, so good. So I'm glad this combo worked out on camera because I was like, well, I'm just going to try out a full coverage foundation routine and see how it works. I wasn't going to record it, but I'm glad I did because I already knew the Kevin Aquan was a super full coverage foundation. Like, I knew that already. It's just a little bit too thick for me personally to wear by itself. So being able to mix it in with a more lighter foundation worked awesome. Okay, so now for the rest 
of my face I'm going to go in with my favorite full coverage concealer this is the Tarte shape tape concealer and I am using the shade light medium just a little bit because a little bit of this stuff goes a very long way I'm going to use the other side of my equal tool sponge I swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin you make me taking my time to press this all into the skin because you don't want anything to look cakey because we're using full coverage products so by really taking your time to really press it into your skin with a um, sponge which, which I feel like helps tremendously when you're using full coverage products and by taking your time to blend it in really good that's what's going to help it to look um, not natural because this isn't a natural foundation. Um, but just help it to look a lot more skin-like. Take your time blending it in. That's what's nice about this concealer is that it doesn't dry extremely fast. Okay. Now it is time to set everything. My favorite way to set my full face of makeup, especially when I'm doing a full coverage routine like this, I love to use my air spun powder. You could get this at Walmart, super inexpensive, hands down my favorite baking powder ever. So I'm going to take a little bit into the cap. I'm going to go back in with my blender and just make sure my concealer is nicely blended out and nothing is creasing because you don't want to set the creases in your makeup. So you want to make sure it's very smoothly blended out. So I'm going to pick up the powder straight from the cap onto my sponge and go ahead and I'm going to start with my under eye area first. This sponge fits perfectly around the nose. I have to set around my nose because that is the first place that I get oily so I just have to do that. Then I'm gonna set my smile lines. I have to set my smile lines just to reassure myself that they're not gonna crease later on. This helps tremendously with that. And then I'm gonna set the center of my forehead. And depending on what you like to do, how much time you have, if you're in a rush, a lot of times I won't even I will set my face and then I'll right away go right away go in with a bigger brush and sweep everything off. Um, but if you want to do the rest of your makeup, put it on your eyelashes, whatever, um, feel free to let this sit on your face for a good five minutes or however long you want. There is not a time frame that you need to let this set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop on my eyelashes and then I will be back to finish up the rest of my face. Alrighty guys, so I finished up the rest of my face makeup. I did not do anything else for this full coverage foundation routine. All I did was just finish up my blush, bronzer, highlight, stuff like that. And this is pretty much what I do to really lock in my makeup to have it stay full coverage. I'm really happy that for this video, this combo worked out. I really love this combo and I definitely will be continuing to use this. Um, as a full coverage foundation combo. Thank you guys so much for trying out this full coverage foundation routine with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys did. And don't forget to subscribe so that way you guys don't miss out on any of my future videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye!